Hello everyone. Thank you so much for coming out and attending a Women for Bernie meetup. Folks are gathered across our country tonight to sit down with neighbors, family, friends to discuss why Bernie Sanders is the best candidate for women. My name is Portia Bolger and I have the privilege to introduce to you a dear friend of mine from the great state of Ohio, Senator Nina Turner. Senator Turner is a native and resident of Cleveland, Ohio, where she started her professional career. She was the first woman to be elected to city council to represent Ward 1. She immediately became a fierce fighter for safe neighborhoods, for equal access to education, to fight for women's rights, and to always be standing on the right side of history to fight for the 99%. She worked her way through to the State Senate of Ohio where she served as Minority Whip. She is currently on sabbatical from the Ohio Democratic Party where she serves as a Vice Chair with David Pepper and others. She now is a surrogate for Senator Bernie Sanders' campaign, working her way across our country to educate voters about why Bernie Sanders is the best candidate for women and for the entire 99%. It is my great honor to give to you the great Senator Nina Turner. All women for Bernie, I'm State Senator Nina Turner and I'm excited to be joining you today. Senator Bernie Sanders had an amazing night in New Hampshire, and I want to give a big shout out to the voters of New Hampshire for understanding what we all know, that Senator Sander Sanders has heart-soul agreement. You know, for me, I am feeling the burn because of the juxtaposition of my life story to that of what Senator Sanders is fighting for in this country. You know, I am a first generation college graduate, the oldest of seven children. And along my life's journey, something very tragic happened to my family. Our mother died at the age of 42 years old. In Langston Hughes's poem, he asked what happens to a dream deferred. My mother did die with her dreams deferred on the system of welfare, no money in the bank, and not even a life insurance policy. You gotta imagine for me, being 22 years old, and my youngest sister was 12, how traumatic that experience was for us. But I, by the grace of God, with a supportive husband and a supportive family, was able to continue my journey through college, becoming a first generation college graduate. So when I think about Senator Sanders' plan to make colleges and universities tuition free in this country, I'm saying to myself, yes, that is what every generation deserves, the opportunity to be able to live out their greatest greatness. When I think about how my mother died, aneurysm burst in her brain. She was in a coma for about a week before she died. And Senator Sanders planned to make sure that everybody in this country has universal health care as a right. I knew in my heart of hearts that he was the candidate, he is the candidate to take this country to the next level. Senator Bernie Sanders has heart-soul agreement. He cares about the working poor. He's not afraid to talk about the working poor. He cares about the middle class that is barely there as he continues to talk about a rigged system. It is both rigged politically and it is rigged economically as people continue to work two and three jobs and they still cannot make ends meet. When he talks about the fact that nobody should work 40 hours a week and not have a living wage, he is preaching my type of gospel. When he talks about the five violence that are perpetuated against African Americans and Hispanic folks in this country, legal, economic, political, environmental, and physical. He is speaking my language. But when he talks about the fact that in the greatest country on the face of the earth, that we can and we should leverage the political power in this country to make a difference for all people, that this country belongs to us, and not a handful of millionaires and billionaires. My God, Senator Bernie Sanders is speaking my language. So women, I am hoping that he is speaking your language as well. 
he has heart soul agreement. You know, a couple of weeks ago, I received an email from a lady who lives in the rural parts of California. She told me that her ethnicity was both white and Native American. And she said that when she hears me and she hears Senator Sanders preaching the gospel of uplift all across this country, that that language is speaking to her. She only makes $9,600 a year and she has two sons. And she said that this system is rigged, that it is against poor people in this country and that we need leaders who will continue to stand up and fight the good fight. Leaders who know that we can change the trajectory of this country if we all stand together. Senator Sanders is the person, the elected official, the drum major for justice for this time and he needs our support. You know, I almost fell out of my chair, even though I was not sitting down, when I heard that Secretary Albright, what she said about a place, a special place in hell for women who don't support other women. Well, I argue that the women who are supporting Senator Bernie Sanders are standing up for other women. When he talks about increasing the minimum wage to $15 an hour, that is for women. When he talks about expanding and protecting Social Security, we know that women tend to live longer than men. We need that Social Security to be extended so that women can continue to live a robust life. When he talks about the fact that the ERA needs to be ratified, can we we believe in the 21st century that the Equal Rights Amendment has not been ratified. Senator Bernie Sanders supports that ratification of that. He talks about the need for women to make dollar for dollar and that he will fight for that. And women, we want our whole damn dollar. And I want you to say whole damn dollar. Very good. We are fighting not just for ourselves, but for our daughters and for our sons. So when I heard feminists Gloria Steinem talk about the girls are following the boys. I said to myself, that has never happened. The boys are following the girls. My God. Ladies, this is our moment. It is our moment to do what we know it is right, to look beyond biology and vote for the candidate that you believe will make a difference in the lives of all people. And that candidate is Senator Bernie Sanders. He is not new to this. He has been fighting this fight for justice and equality for all, even before he ever dared dream to run for office. As a student at the University of Chicago, when he was fighting against the segregationist policies of that university that would not allow African Americans to even sleep in the dorms there, he has been fighting this fight. As the mayor of Burlington, he has been fighting this fight. As a member of the House of Representatives, he has been fighting that fight. And as a senator, he is fighting the fight for equality and justice for all. So I need you to volunteer your time, to make your phone calls, to tell your story as to why you are supporting Senator Bernie Sanders and why you believe that his message and his mission for this country will lift all people. Now we cannot go from no, we cannot go from yes we can to no we can't. We can and we will. You know, Sister, um, Sister uh, Mother Jones once said that she would pray for the dead and fight like hell for the living. And that is what Senator Sanders does on a regular basis. Or how about Sister Helen Keller when she once said, one must never consent to creep when one feels the urge to soar. I am hoping that you feel the urge to soar. So Senator Sanders needs you too to make calls all over this country, to donate if you can, but make a difference. You make a difference. Women, you matter in this election. You always have and you always will. Let's do something spectacular for this country and take our hopes and dreams to the next level. Yes, we can. Yes, we will. And yes, we must. God bless you. And I hope to see you on the campaign trail. I'm feeling the burn.